We have made it to Tulum in Mexico. We're looking pretty well to be fair. We're not looking that bad considering we've been traveling for like 19 hours. <laughs> um, we literally just checked in and the reception of the hotel is outside and oh, Emily's just been bitter I alive. Think, I think I've got eight, eight maybe already. We are in Tulum. It took forever. It feels like the world's longest journey because I, I haven't even spoken in this vlog yet but we have basically had a two hour flight delay this morning on top of our 10 hour flight on top of the two hour journey from Cancun to Tulum. Day. It's currently 20 to 8 in Tulum and it is pitch black. We didn't expect to be here this it was late. It pretty much dark like yeah. 7. Yeah, it's dark. We thought we were going to be here for a little bit, go to the pool and everything. I thought, oh, that would be so nice and it's literally pitch black. If you're looking for a good like taxi service from Cancun to Tulum, because it is like a two hour journey um, in the car, then we used a company called Kaleido. I mean, I think it's Kaleido. Or Kaleido, but it's really, to be fair, they were really good, really efficient, really simple, made it very nice and easy on the other side. And then we are staying in a hotel called Nala Tulum. We saw a girl on Instagram, Grace Gibbons, stay here and she recommended it. So we was like, she recommended it. Let's just go to one that we know is going to be good. But these are our room keys. They're like bands that they put on so you can tap in and out of your room with these. We didn't really know what the room was going to look like, but it's actually huge. Like it's a really spacious room. You come in here and this is like, it's all open plans. So there's no doors or anything. You've got like a little bit of hair with the sink and a little mirror. It's all very wooden. Hanging space. Then you come through, you've got the toilet. Look what, oh my god, look what they've done with the toilet roll. They've got a humongous shower. <laughs> Emily's on the bean bag. That's hilarious. Um, and we've got a nice big bed here, TV. This will be cute. We could hang our outfits up here. I literally don't even know how we're coping right now. I mean, you're not going to see it because so I have to show you tomorrow. But you open this up, we've got like a little balcony that looks out onto what looks like just like a little bit of jungle. <laughs> she slept in the whole car journey here. I kept looking over her and you were like completely out of it. We've come to a late night churro run. We've also got a burger and chips on the way. I feel like the hunger just came over us and we were like, oh my God. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> they look really Ooh, good. That is good. Wait, should we just put it down here and try one? That is, oh, well, the best thing I've ever room. The cinnamon sugar. This is dangerous that this That's is probably bad. the nicest Hotel. Cheerios I've ever actually had. We've secured our feast. This is actually a humongous burger and the salad and chips, oh, I'm so looking forward to this. And then the churros are the best churros ever. So honestly, this looks like heaven to me right now. We are at breakfast. It looks nice. I've got ice yeah. coffees and ice chocolates so on today. So much better. Yeah, I'm looking forward to digging into this. Good morning, everyone. It is the next day in Tulum. We are up. It looks like we've just woken up, but we have been up for hours already. We've been up, we've had breakfast, we've had coffees, we've gone spoken to everyone, gone for a walk, gone to the supermarket, but I didn't vlog any of it. Got but we've just insect repellent. Got insect repellent for Emily, but we have come back to the room, got ready, and now we're just gonna head up to the pool. These are the outfits for today. I wasn't really sure what to wear because I kind of like all the outfits we've brought, but um, do you want to show you all one quickly? We are going to be posting them on TikTok if you want to see what everything is from. And but all from Sheen. Apart so, from skirts. And also sunglasses, Primark. We're going to head to the pool and have a chill hours there. But yeah, just thought I would start this video. We got breakfast, which was really good actually, but they kind of let us take from the normal menu instead of the buffet menu. This is the start of the film vlog. Very, very excited. It's been, it started cloudy and now it's gone really sunny. So yeah, looking forward to it. Me and Emily have made it around the pool. We've just taken some pictures. This is what the pool looks like. So it's got this really cool like bit here, which is like all crochet-y. And then this is apparently coming on. It's got like a water fountain in a minute. And then it's the pool. There's also a jacuzzi over here. And then this is where you have breakfast around here. It is very, very hot, but I'm not complaining. 
This is the life. So they've got like, apparently it's two for, what was it, two for 250? Yeah. Mexican peso or something. So you can get cocktails. It's actually so much later. I've not really, I basically realized I haven't vlogged in like forever, but we've just been chilling by the pool. I completely forgot to film my cocktail, but we got, co I mean, yeah, I, mean uh, I can kind of film it, but it's a bit too strong for me. But I got a margarita and Emily got a strawberry daiquiri. We didn't even say what we got from the shop. But we got these tackies. The spicy thing, it's called Extremo on it, and they are so, so spicy. Fiji water, this costs four pounds for water. But the sun's kind of going in now as well. Uh, it was actually quite busy at one point as well. Emily's cutting her hair. Oh God, let me come to the rescue. It's gonna be like an all live thing of Emily cutting. It looks really like dog. It's like, I think it, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it just needs to be like, like go down thinner. Don't go too high. No, go I need to straighten it. Okay! <laughs> it needs to be thin. Bit off. No, this needs to be really like faint. Faint like that. That's better. I, I don't that's even right. think they're twisting the right way. Anyway, back to the vlog. But we all oh, have gone really bright. Yes, but we have come back to the room, got ready. It's actually quite late because we wanted to be by the pool for a while. Right. It's obviously very, very dark, but. This is the outfit, so I've got these little shell earrings on, which actually Emily's, because I ordered them as well from Sheen, but my ones came like absolutely huge. Got this dress on from Missy Empire. It's like a ombre dress, and then the shoes are actually Missy Empire as well. They're like these orange ones. Did I ever show this on the vlog? I don't think I did, but we spent the morning, oh, it's, it's, it's gone now. messy now, but we spent the morning like setting up this, which was really cute. I've made it to Kyra which looks pretty cool. It's got like this thing up here. Looks a very cool restaurant to be fair. <laughs> Emily's guiding. Alexa, thank you. Yeah. Me and Emily have made it into Kyra. There's a guy who's like, I think he's trying to get rid of all the mosquitoes. Emily and me are all bitter. I think, I think I've got that. Oh my. <laughs> it's raised so much. But we're not sure what to get. Like we're really stuck. There's salad, pizza, pasta, Ooh, tacos. I think the scent though steps, but this place is actually kind of cool. It's better than I was expecting. Yeah, it's, it's just so quiet. Everywhere is so quiet out here. It got this place too like I've got <laughs> Is this going to get rid of them all? <laughs> we made our orders. We've also got our drinks and some bread, which is really good. And these little sauces. This, um, this focaccia bread looks really good. I'm so hungry. Our food has come oh, and it is <laughs> it is so much bigger. Basically, we ordered sides because he said this didn't come with any sides and we've got like potatoes, carrots and everything with it already. But we got the European pizza, which is like ham, olives, tomato, which is a really big pizza. We got, I think this is a chef special, it's chicken, which we didn't realize came with veg and also tortilla wraps. So you could make it into tacos, yeah. which is kind of what we wanted anyway. And then we also got potatoes. And just like that, I look like I'm not wearing anything because this, just like that, we're back in the room and we are a hundred pound short. <laughs> Literally spent a hundred pound in like two hours. Wait, two not even two hours. The taxis here are extortionate prices. So we wanted to figure out the bus, but we didn't know how to do it. So we had to get a taxi. It costs like 20 pound there, 20 pound back for a taxi for like a 10 minute journey. But we ordered way too much food. We've got a whole pizza Where basically. We've Here, we've got to put it in the fridge. So that's going to be our lunch or dinner tomorrow. Yeah. We've come for breakfast, yeah. I've made a little yogurt bowl with fruit and granola. And then I got a coffee and then they've just come over with some more ice coffees, which is good. They know the drill. And then I got the omelette to try which I didn't realize come with a hash brown and Emily got what I got yesterday. Good morning, it is day three of Tulum. I'm gonna put my sunglasses up actually. Can't see a thing in here. But we have got ready, we've had breakfast. I think I filmed a little bit at breakfast and we are gonna head out to a beach club called Canaan today. We haven't booked it or anything, but I feel like Tulum we've noticed is just a very, very quiet place. I think because it's off like peak season as well. So everywhere is quite quiet. I thought I'd just quickly give you an overview of my outfit. Um, so this is, I'm I mean, ignore the mess in the background, but this is the current situation we are working with. And we need to figure out how to use the bus service, which isn't a bus, it's basically like a seven seater. Me and Emily just had the world's weirdest experience. <laughs> we wanted insert to get, it's clip. basically, yeah, I'll have to insert a clip here, but it's basically a minibus. We just jumped on and I was like this. Uh, and my coffee. And Emily's everywhere. coffee. And then the cup <laughs> flew out your hand, but we've arrived at Canaan Beach Club. It looks so weird. Like, I feel like I don't really know what to expect, but. Oh. 
made it. I don't know how we made it. Honestly, we stepped out of a hotel and the that. thing that was, was there. That was such a good timing. It was the world's most luckiest we thing to happen. We literally walked out and then, whoa. This is cool. This is oh my God. That's a bit steep. We have arrived at Kana. These are like treetop ones but it is so stunning. I've not been to the beach yet and it, it, the sand, it like hurts your eyes because it's so bright. But this is a really cool beach club. They've actually shut this part off, I think, because obviously it's like off peak season. But there's like this Canaan sign with like swings. It just looks so cool. And the beach is just like stunning. It's like completely blue and the sand is so bright and white. This just jumped down, scared the life out of me. I thought it was going to come and attack me. Yes, it is oh. Emily's fed up with the photo. <laughs> That was how you felt about the photos. Oh, they look good. They look very nice. Perfect, thank you. We've got our strawberry daiquiris. Cheers, cheers, um, This is, honestly, the, like, the sand is the like whitest sand ever. It's so nice. We just got a coconut. Gel. It is like, it's like aloe vera. It actually is like squishy. It's like a bit of a weird texture. It's a jellyfish. Ugh. It's not refreshing. It's not cold. Okay. Put it in your mouth. <laughs> Emily in her wild happy chat. <laughs> she's falling. So I think she's getting attacked by the seaweed. It's gonna go. The two went a bit dodgy. Okay, quick, because it's gonna go. Come across the jungle gym. I wanted to see what this looked like to be fair. Go on it, pick it up. No, I don't. <laughs> you can pick it up. What is that? It's got something in it, but I don't know. Maybe ask someone locally. I'm, Emily just popped one and it was the funniest thing ever. It's probably poisonous. It's probably gonna like sting you or something. We have got some, well, I guess late lunch really. We have got beef stir We've got a spoon. <laughs> Thank you. We've got beef stir fry and then we got pita. Carrots, tortilla chips with guacamole, hummus, and uh, what was it, tzatziki? And then I got a mango daiquiri, and then we got another strawberry daiquiri. But we're sitting in like this little cocoon thing. But this is our view. I'm yeah, I'm hungry now. I can smell it. Also, the cucumber here is huge. Like it's the biggest cucumber I've ever seen. They're so cute. There's so many. Yes, Look at them. Oh. <laughs> What are they doing? Basically, I think the birds come and eat them, so they protect them. Me and Emily got ice cream. It looks like from a Burger King. It was only one pound something, which is so good. Um, but we managed to get the bus thing back and got it for free <laughs> somehow. Honestly, this is just worked out in the end. <laughs> we look well tanned. We do look tanned. This is good light. This is the biggest scoop ever. I can't believe, like one pound? Was it one pound or something? Basically. It is day four. Day four? So. Or day three? Oh my God, how have we already lost count? That's what I mean. How have we lost? Day quick. three or four, I'm not sure, of Tulum. And we have got up, we've had breakfast. Um, I didn't take my camera, but I got like scrambled egg and Emily got avocado toast. And we've been getting ready and today we are going to Taboo, which is probably one of the most like popular beach clubs I would say to go to in Tulum. It's also probably the most expensive as well. So there's a minimum spend, but you pay, I think it's 2,000 Mexican peso, but you only can put 1,000 towards... Peso? Peso. 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 I don't know. Um, and you can only put half of it towards food and drinks. So technically you're paying 1,000 to be there. But we are going to get there hopefully round about on time we're meant to get there for about 11 um but these are our outfits my hair took me so long today it is so annoying but i put these <laughs> you know when yeah, you just you just want to get out but you've still got stuff to do but these are little clips i put in but um yeah i don't know how they look but it's something a little bit different and then i've got these sunglasses on which we got from barcelona actually um and then this is my outfit i feel so different like i never wear this much color in my life um but this is the outfit it's from i think the whole thing's plt actually we're gonna get that mini bus thing again which is like <laughs> a bit of a hit and miss on if you can get it or not um hopefully fingers crossed it's easy to get today but it's so much cheaper we've just been waiting an hour and we've ended up in a taxi oh. basically two of them like bus things that we tried to get yesterday drove straight past us and we've been waiting for like an hour on the side of the road so now we're like really late it's been 
painful and annoying. It's just taxi society expense out here, but we're gonna make it just about. Got our spots to be. This is where we'll be for the day. Basically, we were like down there, I think, uh, yesterday. We're like, to be fair, we're on the end, I think, maybe. That's Tantra. Um, Tantra's right there next door. Oops. <laughs> when I walked through. Yours looks like a jungle. <laughs> a little like spring onion. <laughs> yeah, we need to eat that. <laughs> got an apro which was a struggle. We got given Afro Spritz and then Sprite, but we just wanted Afro and Sprite, but we've got there in the end. I feel like whenever we order this, it's always really difficult to get. There's some like hen party thing going on up there. It looks kind of lively, but on the beach, it's a lot more like chill. complimentary when you have food um, and we got these I'm so excited to have that what's that tzatziki I can't remember what you said actually we're, oh, the flies here we got salmon sushi and then we got this they recommended this is a salad this cost probably like 20 25 pounds so I'm kind of sad about that but it is big at least um, so yeah we got some well I guess it's like late lunch like five o'clock me and Emily are back at the hotel room and we decided to start getting ready and now it is pouring with ra well, pouring rain and also the thunder and lightning is terrible and it says it's going to be going on until like 10. I, I look naked right now but I'm not so crowded. Obviously there's noises everywhere but basically now we've got ready and basically it's going nowhere. So I think everything's feeling a bit deflated because yeah I think we're going to have to go for dinner like there's like a little restaurant just outside of our hotel. Um, <laughs> Hope you're already there now. I really wonder if you can hear that, it's so loud. Also, I wonder if I can catch any of the lightning, but it's like the worst thunder I think I've ever heard. It's so like, loud. Yeah, sure, give me a little update, but that's the first rain we've had so far. At least it's happening at night, I guess, but we wanted to walk like half an hour, 40 minutes to this restaurant. We was like, that would be a nice little walk. Oh. No, no chance of walking in there, I'll get electrocuted. It's a little bit later and we are all ready and dressed to go nowhere <laughs> this is the reality on the vlog um on instagram you'll just think we're going for like dinner or something but these are the outfits it was a little bit of a foul with the evening also i did talk about taboo but taboo was quite disappointing when you say him uh, yeah. it was a little bit basically don't go if it's not a saturday because they were saying saturday is like really busy and the weekdays are pretty much like quite chill i mean there was a couple of hen parties there who were having the time of their life um but yeah it was a little bit on the quieter side and it's quite expensive and also like the drinks and stuff are quite a lot there so i probably i don't know the canam one was 100 percent like so good recommend that one but this one we was a little bit disappointed at we've come to this is like a little restaurant our hotel is literally right there so it's right here it's called casa sofia actually a really nice place for food so emily got the mediterranean salmon yeah that looks nice um with vegetables and then i got the grilled chicken with spinach there's a tree hanging out from the ceiling oh and these are the best things ever they're called a smoothie We've got strawberry and uh lemon but they are so refreshing good morning it is day we're halfway in i think it's day five of tulum we've got up it's fairly early it's just gone eight it's like 20 past eight and we went out for breakfast and literally scoffed like the quickest breakfast ever because we're heading out on an excursion today so we booked this literally i think like two days ago or something um and we have got quad bikes we've got i think it's like a zip line thing and then also the cenote as well which is like a massive thing to do in mexico or tulum so very looking forward to today so we've got our little bikinis on and then just some like cover up stuff just for on the quad um, and yeah we're gonna head to our excursion we've got a walk to like a pickup point um, and at the moment we are currently late so we really need to get going so I'll try and film as much as I can but it might be quite difficult to get my phone uh, like especially my camera out why is it misty? it's, it's, it's misty. Really cool. it's
me and Emma by the pool and we just picked these up from where we ate dinner last night at Casa Sofia. So, so good. This one's so refreshing. But to be fair, I've not filmed anything on my camera since the trip, so I'll have to insert some clips here and talk about it later. But we are currently just chilling by the pool and they've got the little fountain on now. This is such a while later and this light is terrible, but we're on the move because we are late as per usual, but we have got ready. I'll show your outfits in the... <laughs> Oh, oh. It's not very good light. You can't see, but we're both very sparkly. <laughs> These are the outfits. We've gone very sparkly. But yeah, we're going to go and get some pictures and then head to Bagatelle. We made it. It looks actually really nice. It is day six. It's actually Saturday today and we have got ready just to go around the pool. We're looking very dressed up for the pool to be honest. I don't even think I spoke about it yesterday, but we went to the Maya Adrenaline tour oh, yesterday. Is it very good again? Emma's earrings keep falling out, which was actually so much better than we were expecting. We thought it was like three or four hours long. I don't even know how long it was in total now, but it was probably like six or six hours or something um, in total. But it was so good. So we got picked up from like a local, they just like, I think it's because it's like a supermarket, it's easy to identify. So you get picked up there and then you go and do the like quads or the ATVs, which were really good. So me and Emily shared one and then we just like swapped halfway. We did the zip line, which is apparently one of like the longest zip lines. I think it was like a kilometer along um, and then you do some other zip lines you do like a little bit of abseiling and then you go to the cenote which was so cool it is so scary because it's like completely dark and then there's like bats and stuff up the top um but it was actually really interesting actually a really good experience so much better than i was expecting i thought we was just going to be at the entrance but you like fully go in and then he like turn he like because they've got torches they turn it all off and it's like pitch black it's yeah it is quite cool um i'm glad it was fresh water or like river water and not sea water because because I feel like if it was seawall dry, I would have actually like had a hard attack. Get like lunch and stuff, um, and then you get dropped back. And it was a really good experience. I would recommend it. It's from we booked through Get Your Guide, and it's called like the Maya Adrenaline Tour, I think. And then we went to Bagatelle last night, which had quite a good atmosphere. Because considering the other restaurant we went to, we were the only ones there. It was a lot better atmosphere. But I definitely would say we went a bit late. We went about half nine, so probably say to go for around 8, 8.30. It was really good there, but it was very expensive. I feel like Tullum restaurants are very expensive. Now we're just having a pool day and then we've got Ilios tonight, which we're very looking forward to. I feel like that's one of the ones I'm most looking forward to. And I've just got this like little black swimsuit, belly chain and maxi skirt on. We are by the pool. The little, have I shown the things on yet? Oh, I haven't shown the things It's like blue, but they're a blue skirt. Actually, it's a bit cloudy up there, but We've got this little like waterfall fountain, which is quite cute. We've had breakfast and then we've just got some iced chocolates to take away as well. Okay, this is another chaotic exit from our door, but we are getting ready and we are headed to Ilios tonight. Also, we are very, very bad. Um, but these, My chest does look so bad. Like, you can see it's so bad, but we are wearing these outfits. I love this outfit, but I do feel very exposed. My hair is so yeah, To be fair, you have to wear your hair up here, otherwise it just goes so humid. Got but bad so bad. <laughs> oh, but these are our outfits. So I think my camera's even steaming up. But yeah, we're heading to Ilios. Very looking forward to it. Plate smashing and everything. How's that going to We are in the taxi. My legs oh, are on fire. Oh. Honestly, they're fine. This is scratching them, like making it so much worse. But we are headed, we actually made friends on the adrenaline tour that we did, um, who are also English. So we're actually heading to meet them up before because we invited them to Ilios because Ilios hopefully isn't dead. <laughs> so right, we, need it to be, we need it to be good atmosphere. Um, so I think we're going to go there with them. Um, so yeah, looking forward to it. I just feel very overdressed. I'm really I'm, well dressed up. Yeah, what is it? What's the thing? Are you just basic? <laughs> did you put deodorant on? I was just like, oh Maybe it was have deodorant in the toilet. Bagatelle oh. did. Bagatelle oh. had did deodorant they? in the toilet. I sprayed it. It was oh, actually really I good. <laughs> Hello. 
Hello. It is day six of Tulum. Um, we have got up, got ready. I think we're a little bit tired. I don't feel too bad at the moment, but I feel like we're gonna feel quite tired later on. Today we had a pool day and then we went back, got ready for Ilios and we made some friends on our excursion. So there's a lady, there was a girl that was solo traveling and then this group. So we met up with them before and then we went to Ilios, which was actually really, really good. The vibe in there is really good. It's like really busy, but I definitely think you have to go on like a Saturday or something. Otherwise it's probably not very busy. Um, but I feel like it was so chaotic, wasn't it? Like our food was coming yeah, was and then there was like plate smashing. So like all our food was on the table, go to do this plate smashing and like you're in a queue and they're like, you go into like all these lights around you honestly it was so chaotic and then like two seconds later it's like everyone's up dancing like sparklers and i'm like i'm like half eating my pasta um so it was a little bit chaotic i don't know i think maybe our food was slightly late coming out that's why um but yeah it was really really good i really enjoyed it and i would definitely recommend it if you're coming to tulum and then we headed to like you say headed headed we're heading, like heading. We're heading. No, but we're that's heading. Head, headed we're head, heading. Even we're heading. I'm not heading. We're heading. We headed to. Um, we wanted to go to uh, Bonbonaire, but it was completely shut, and we were like, "That was a bit weird." So we wanted to see what that was like, um, and so then we just walked and found this one called like a spicy or something. It was kind of in there for a bit to papaya beach club i think it's called papaya player beach club I feel like a safari person um emily's got this little emmy snack in we've got biscuits the best biscuits we did get them. they were nice uh, i don't know but they are quite good biscuits um but yeah these are the outfits for today and Thank i will you. take you along to the beach club so we are a little bit well i say a little bit i am so burnt it's actually a joke that is really bad at breakfast i don't film it every day because it's usually similar but today we've got <coughs> my throat is croaky today we've got pancakes which look really good they look really fluffy the toast looks, the toast looks better i feel like it looks quite oh. <laughs> not toasty <laughs> it's soft it looks toasty <laughs> uh, i got scrambled eggs and we got fried eggs with mushrooms and i think it's ham um, yeah. and then ice cookies and fruit and we do these little yogurt granola pots too so we've got a uh, feast this morning we arrived at the player project uh project papaya player project it is absolutely stunning here like one of the nicest beach clubs and the view is amazing so this is like the restaurant area and then you come through and this is the view it's so pretty it literally is like paradise and they've got a pool over here let me show you quick feet are burning oh my god we've got our little cabana bed here um, so we've got some shade because we're obviously very burnt. Emily just nearly fell down the stairs and the food looks good. These people have got food. This is the jacuzzi and then this is the pool. This is the pool area. It looks so pretty. There's little Emily. <laughs> we're gonna do a little... Oh that feels so refreshing on my burn. This is our cabana. It's actually quite busy here. This is, to be fair, it's really relaxing under the shade. Yeah, I'm burnt. I'm I'm burnt. Burnt. We're burnt. Look at that. Look at that. I don't know what this is, but it's very bitter. He said it's like a daiquiri, but then I think they just made the drink they usually do and then crushed it with ice. We just went in the pool, but it's gone a bit like cloudy now, which is a bit sad. Um, but we ordered food. This looks insane. So we got the guacamole and chips. We got the beef or steak tacos and we got the burger just to share and oh my god, this looks so good. Yeah, Me and Emily good. had to spend more because we can't spend anything out here. How much are two I have no idea, it's probably a rip off, but the drinks here aren't that great, but we've got ice cream. Spoon. I'm going to be eating with a knife, which is so, what? Oh, good ice cream. oh, is it? That's good. At least it's got a little raspberry on top. We were saying oh. we need to be healthier. <laughs> there is Why a spoon. Um, I'm not having two scoops. We're on diets now from today. Oh, they look so good. Oh, oh my. my god, they look terrible. Okay. Um, we are at this part of the Papaya Player Project. It's like as you come in, it's so cute. It's all about like gratitude. So me and Emily, our gratitude is ourselves. <laughs> wait, 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 let me show you up close. We did a little stain. Pop it, it on. goes right here. <laughs> I wonder how long it takes for someone to cut over that. We have decided to walk instead of get the public bus. It's only 35 minutes and we were like, we need to get some exercise in. But my feet are so burnt, it actually is painful to wear sliders. So I'm wearing 
barefoot which is probably not ideal when you're trying to walk that half an hour but we're getting attacked by mosquitoes and I just squished one on my arm no, it's and actually, blood just splattered it? everywhere I was like that makes me sick that could be someone else's blood oh. because it sucked so you get like potentially could AIDS. I get eight <laughs> Oh my god. Good morning. It is day seven of Tulum. I can't believe it's been a week since we've been here. I feel like it goes quick, but then it also goes like slow. I don't know, it's really weird. It looks like when you look back at the first day, it feels like so long ago. Today, we went to the Papaya Player Project. Would 100% recommend that beach club if you come. I think it's a really pretty one to go to. And the food was really good. Yeah, I would think it's really nice. The only thing is the drinks there are a bit weird. There was a bit of a weird selection of drinks. We came back and then I was kind of just like, let's not go out tonight. I think we ate quite late so we weren't hungry at all so we'd be getting ready to not really do anything we're gonna just have a chill pool day today and then head out for dinner at rosa negra tonight got with a cream outfit these are actually emmy's earrings um and got a necklace and then this is just the little outfit this is from missy empire actually it's a really cute crochet skirt i do like this bikini it's cute huh Haunted. I don't know if I ever filmed this part of the hotel, but this is like just through reception. But we got our pictures. Oh, that's all wet there. Can't walk up this. Oh my god, we we'll have to do a little. What even am I doing now? Also, it's really cute here. Like they have like these painted around the hotel. We are at breakfast. I got an acai bowl. I've never actually had a acai bowl. Emily got um, McDonald's. Really? And Emily got a on there. Not the salad. Mine. I don't know what happened with mine when I ordered it, but it didn't look like that but only got the on there. We also have had some at croissants and we did get pancakes, which I didn't film, but yeah, this looks actually looks really nice. Emily. Yeah, oh my God, the funniest thing happened at breakfast. So I was trying to get the waiter's attention to be like, can we order a nice coffee? And I, you do the thing where you're like, like that. And he went, I'm like, where are you me? And obviously I had tears of laughter because I was like, I'm not waving. I just want my iced coffee. It was so funny. Um, but me and Emmy were just taking some pictures in this, which is very cool. It's like a little bed thing. It's actually really comfortable if we had a towel. Um, but yeah, this is actually, although please ignore my hair, I've just tied it up. But it's actually really cool in here. It just hurts your bum a little bit, so you have to bring a towel in. I just ran, well not ran, I sped walk to go get me and Em an ice cream and I made it back just about with, with them melting kind of all down my hand a little bit. <laughs> it's been a little while since we've been at the pool. We've come back, got ready. We came back quite late because I was literally falling asleep on the sun um, lounger um, and we're heading to Rosa Negra tonight um, for dinner. I'm pretty sure the restaurant's not going to be very busy and it is usually a lively restaurant but there's only like Friday and Saturday that places are lively out here. I actually am obsessed with this dress. It's from Missy Empire. They kindly gifted it to me and it is just like the most perfect holiday dress. Um, and then I've just got these little earrings in. Well, I say little, they're so heavy on my ears. Shell earrings from Sheen. And I've got my hair completely slicked back today, which I feel a little bit like an egg, but I feel like it was just the easy, the humidity here means you just have to have your hair up. And he's wearing the dress that I wore yesterday, which is from PLT. Uh, What's that like? Taco crisps. I've probably been so many tequila chips this holiday. Oh my god. How many to go up there? The taco, Emily Burger. I've never seen anything like it in my life. with the knife. Oh, Hallie's got the knife. We're at breakfast. I got poached eggs on toast with this bacon. Then we got avocado and poached eggs on toast. And we got little granola pots too. Morning, it is day eight of Tulum, I think. Um, we have only got a couple of days left. We got up, had breakfast. I think we had like the biggest breakfast ever today. I think the workers here were like, oh my God. We had a pool day yesterday, just pretty chill. And then we went to Rosa Negra. I do think it was probably one of my favorite restaurants. And considering it was a Monday, it still had a really good atmosphere, which I was a bit worried about. I thought we were gonna be the only ones. And the dessert was 
massive. <laughs> it was it was like a mini burger in the burger and the dessert was wow, we got the baked Alaska and it was huge. I, I couldn't even cut into it, it was like solid, um, but it was actually really, really good. So I would highly recommend that um, restaurant if you come to Tulum. But today we are going to the beach again. We're going to another beach club called I keep wanting to say Maya because everybody keeps calling it Maya, but it's Mia Beach Club. I think this one is slightly different. I think you get like a free bar from 12 till 3. I'm actually wearing Emily's itty bitty bikini that she wore the other day. Emily is wearing this Sheen. one. Sheen, as per <laughs> usual. We have arrived at Mia Beach Club. There is a car upstairs in the club. This is the outside. Okay, we are at Maya Beach Club. It's actually really cool here. So this is like the entrance and then that will take you down to the beach. But if I go this way, they've got a pool. It's actually a really nice pool. Me and Emily have just taken so many photos and we did the funniest TikTok ever. Honestly, it's like a love-hate thing with rela uh, relationship. It's like a love-hate thing with TikToks because they take time and you want to just be sitting, relaxing in the sun. But then once you've done it, you're like, oh, I actually really like that. It's such a funny TikTok. So, so glad we did it. Oh my God, don't drink the water. I'm so going to brush my teeth with tequila. Mexico! Hey, is this beach topless? No, but my margarita's bottomless. Mexico! This is our spot, Emily's Sunday there. But basically this one, you can pay, I think it's 9.90 peso, but from 12 to 4, you get unlimited drinks for that price. So that's like quite well. So we've got our lime daiquiris on the go. Um, I think you get like mojitos and stuff like that as well. So we've got like two hours left of unlimited drinks. So everybody's gonna be down in there. They're huge. Also, me and Emily, we got this picture taken and then they sell you like this bottle of tea. We don't even like tequila, but we're going to give it to mum and dad just for them. But it's so funny for a little souvenir. What drink is this? Number four. That's not, good. not good. How long got left? An hour and a half. I think me and Emily are, <laughs> are so drunk right now. It's so funny. We've got two more drinks to go. I've got two mojitos. They're actually really good. But I think people are, I don't even think I've been this drunk in a while. I feel like people are going to be looking at us like, what the hell? <sighs> because I don't drink. I literally don't drink. And I've had like so many. This is so bad. What do you want to say to the vlog? <laughs> what do you want to say? I'm not coming home. I, we haven't said on the vlog there's this really hot guy that walks past at half four and it's half four right now so we need to keep an eye out we need to keep an eye out for him because he is a 10 out of 10 but we've got people got to us to go i literally this is why i don't drink <laughs> you are you're the bad influence where's the guy we've got the dutch courage now to go up to yeah. him <laughs> We watch this clip back and be like, cut this out, cut this out. Yeah, when we watch this back, we're gonna be like, what are we? Everyone else here is so bummed. We're like, uh, I feel so embarrassed to bits on the internet, but hey hi. I won't drop it. If I could demolish some guacamole and crisps right now. I'm starving. Some tortilla and guacamole would go down. Yeah, why is there seaweed here but not up there? I'm sad we didn't get to see that guy. It is day eight of Tulum. We are up and ready to go and swim with turtles today. There seems like sand on my camera everywhere. I'm gonna go and swim with the turtles today. I think it takes you to the Tulum ruins as well by boat. Um, so yeah, really good to that, but we need to have some breakfast and we're gonna grab our pictures now just whilst our hair and everything looks all right. Yesterday was interesting. I feel like the drinks that were unlimited just went straight to my head. Honestly, I don't even know what happened. I don't even know what happened. I think it's just because I don't drink and I was so hungry and then all of a sudden it went past the point of hunger and I felt like if I eat, I would be like, ugh, I feel sick. But then I ate and I feel like I feel fine now, which is fine. Yeah, you was like, I'm not eating. I'm like, eat. <laughs> that was like me to you with the burger from McDonald's. I was like, eat and you just fell asleep and then you woke up feeling rough the next day. So I decided to have the food and dip. But they, they gave me tap water at one point and I was literally I'm going, I'm going, to, fall, I'm going to fall ill now from drinking tap water but yeah we need to head out because we're in a bit of a rush so we need to go grab our pictures and then head to the excursion place for 
who will take us to go see the turtles. And um, at breakfast, I've got the Greek yogurt bowl. There is a mound of Greek yogurt M in here. Got pancakes, and Emmy got avocado toast. We are by the pool and we've got some food to share. So we've got a chicken, a Caesar salad, and then we've also got a cheeseburger and chips to try and have as well. So we're just gonna share this, but we are back by the pool in our usual spot. It's been a long time since I last vlogged. We went on the turtle trip, which let me just give a quick overview of the turtle trip because it was a little bit of a chaotic experience. We basically booked for a tour that these girls in the pool recommended, but I feel like we had the worst experience with them. Honestly, it was a nightmare. We were told we were gonna be dropped and like taken to the area that there's like the boat that takes you to the ruins of the turtles but then when we got there today they was like no you need to make your own way there we were like well we were told that we were getting a lift there so we decided we basically got the shuttle to this place and then we got to the place and you have to pay an entrance to the nature reserve so we had to pay that on top of the tour price and then it, they said it was a six minute walk to the meeting point. And we said, how far to the man at the front? He was like 25, 30 minutes. And this was in like the most like hottest conditions. So we were like, we have been absolutely conned here. They made us get our way there, pay our entrance and now walk half an hour. But luckily this guy, we got on the back of his like moped thing, but then he dropped us too far and we've got dropped all the way to the ruins. So then we had to walk like 15 minutes back on ourselves. Obviously it was just such a nightmare we get there um, and the boat people were there and then get on the boat and we go out to the sea and then basically I did bring this with me to like film under the water but for some reason I don't really know why they made half of it pink and half of it clear so you can't actually see anything you're doing so we were sold this one last minute which cost like 10 pounds it was such a rip off I think I got a free one from Sheen yeah, at home honestly it's such a rip off this um, and we were like but we'll get like we want the videos of the turtles and stuff but it just caused so much stress because the touch screen wasn't working yeah, the videos were terrible the videos we got out the room. <laughs> honestly, oh, no. I like I feel like I could have cried. Wait, let's just show some of the videos. In the end, we ended up buying like the professional ones. And we were like, why did, why did we even try and do it ourselves anyway? These were our videos. Look how good this video would have been of the turtle. It was such a close Basically, video. Basically, so we ended up getting we ended up getting his video, which is so we bought his ones and look at the quality. Basically, we should yeah. have never tried to do it ourselves because it oh, just yeah. caused more stress. And also, Emily was using her phone, oh, yeah. which is brand new, and she was like, do not drop it. But look, it comes out the water. This is so cool. It's so cute. Okay, it's really Take note if you're going to make sure you get transportation there and back and don't film just by the film at the end because it will be much more enjoyable or take a gopro i do have a gopro but it wasn't charging so i couldn't bring it today is our last full day which i don't think i've said yet but we went to the pool and literally spent ages there i think we that's the latest we've stayed at the pool but it was kind of nice like the sun went down um and then the mosquitoes came out <laughs> and emily's legs got all bitten um and then we're heading to a dinner place tonight called nao which i think is actually in town which we've never actually walked or gone to town yet we've always just gone the beach way we were going to get ready and like get dressed up as our last night but i feel like it was so nice just relaxing around the pool and it's kind of a lot of effort just to get ready so i think we're just going to go for a chill dinner instead so i you know when you bring stuff on holiday and this is like nothing i was going to bring and now i'm wearing it and we've just walked <laughs> are we going to be the only ones? ones oh wait two for one on something that's good we're the oh wait there's one we've come to yes yeah, it's open there we're at nao if she can get in there's slidey doors it's tiny in here. We are in Mayo and this is what we've ordered. So we got temp veg uh, what is it? Shrimp tempura and then also some vegetable gyozas. Like, how do you use it? <laughs> I think the that one. What is that one? Uh, Chipotle. This is the teriyaki chicken. Yeah. And then Emily, well we're gonna share this what what is it? Shrimp with avocado. I think it's soya. Oh, oh. <laughs> 
it's dry. Emily, no matter how many times we go to sushi, Emily hasn't got the hang of it just yet. Demolished. <laughs> But at Aldo's, I wanted to come here. I got the cookie. Oh, we found. I got a cookie over face, and Emily got what the chalk. What the chalk? <laughs> um, but the ice cream here looks so good. I, I got the. Get the one, no, just get an ice cream. Yeah, but I think it depends what you're after. I got the cookie one. Emily got Bueno, which is always the most popular. Whatever country you go into, don't you think Kinder's always the one that everyone gets? <laughs> Emily, it's just <laughs> gone. It's so big. I've honestly never seen anything like that in my life. <laughs> I got an Oreo and it's so big. What the hell? Oh my god. <laughs> I don't even know, but we look terrible. But this is crazy right now. Me and Emma are our last breakfast. Last. Are you going to get another one? Yeah. Yeah, one. And a, and, a, and a cold and chocolate and a hot drink and <laughs> but these are really good iced cookies sad times i think that man laughed because you said can i have avocado toast no. with no avocado <laughs> but we are on our two hour countdown I feel like a breath from running up those stairs but we've got our breakfast i got poached eggs on toast and we've got yogurt bowls and emily got i've got look at how that avocado is laying on the toast right now. I don't know how they've done that, but it looks really nice. This is the last time round the pool. It is very, very sunny, so I'm gonna miss this. Last bit of the video, really. Before we head back to the airport tonight, we get picked up in like an hour, maybe. An hour and a bit. No, it's like an hour and a half. An hour and a half. Last time round the pool. No, it's an hour and 45 minutes. Hour and 45 minutes. No, an hour and a <laughs> No, 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 no. We still need to check out and everything. We've got my last iced chocolate of the holiday. We're going into the jacuzzi for the first time. <laughs> I don't think it's actually... It just feels the same. It's like a pool. Em, poke your head out. <laughs> you have to be at a certain angle. Poke your head out. <laughs> this is our first time on the hammocks. How have we not been on this either? Kind of relaxing. I could just sit here for ages. 